In the modern smartphone market, so many of the phones coming out from month to month just offer more of the same. So it's refreshing that, according to the rumours, Google's Pixel 4 series promises to shake things up a bit. As we start to enter the Pixel hype season this fall, here are my top 5 reasons why the Pixel 4 and 4 XL might just be among the most desirable and innovative phones this year. Take a sec to subscribe so you don't miss our future Pixel 4 coverage, and we'll dive right in. In the Pixel 4 series, Google is taking its project solely radar-based gesture technology out of the lab, and for the first time shipping it in a real live product. Soli is much more precise than the camera-based gesture systems we've seen from LG, for example, in the past. Because it uses radar, Soli can detect remote gestures with far more precision than just a camera. Google has already given us a small teaser of what to expect from Soli in the Pixel 4, swiping through tracks in a music app, for example, and using it to detect your face at a distance for the new Face Unlock feature. But as we've seen from Google's demo reel of the past few years, that's only the start of what Soli could be capable of. And that, of course, makes the Pixel 4 a very exciting starting point for this technology. The OnePlus 7 Pro made waves earlier in the year thanks to its impressive 90Hz AMOLED screen, and that's exactly what we're expecting to see from the Pixel 4 series. Google is reportedly calling the technology Smooth Display, and it'll feature in both the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL. If you've ever used a OnePlus 7 Pro or one of the handful of other Android phones with a higher refresh rate, you'll already know the difference that this makes to the smoothness and speed of the overall experience. And if you haven't, then prepare to be impressed when these phones launch later in the fall. We're expecting faster 90Hz panels to become increasingly popular with flagships in 2020 and beyond, and so Pixel owners will be getting in on the ground floor with this new trend. Okay, so there are only two cameras around the back of the Pixel 4, but given what Google's already been able to achieve with a single camera in its Pixel phones to date, there's good reason to be excited about the prospects for a Pixel 4 with a standard plus telephoto camera combo. Google's Super Res Zoom feature on the Pixel 3 allowed the movement of the main camera to contribute to more detail in a digital zoom shot. More detail, in fact, than any other single camera phone. That's exciting for me personally because I've already really enjoyed using Moments lenses on the Pixel 3 series of phones, expanding that phone's already impressive capabilities. And with the Pixel 4 series, you might be able to use all these features without a bulky aftermarket case, which was the one downside of the Moment lenses. Google is going all in on face unlock on the Pixel 4, with the introduction of a new Face ID style 3D dot projector on the phone's sizable top bezel. And as a result, it's widely been reported that Google's doing away with fingerprint lock entirely, as opposed to simply adopting some sort of in-screen fingerprint option like many other manufacturers. While that might make a few people nervous, especially considering how ubiquitous fingerprint unlock is in the Android world, and how good in-screen fingerprint is in phones like the OnePlus 7 Pro, the goal for the Pixel 4 seems to be to develop something more like Apple's Face ID, something that just works 100% of the time when you lift the phone up. And if Google gets it right, then Android 10's new secure face unlock features will finally be able to use face authentication for things like payments in Google Pay. Every year, Google brings new assistant software features to Pixel phones first before opening them up to the broader Android ecosystem. This year, it's time for a total overhaul of the Google Assistant, with more of Assistant's features running directly on the phone itself thanks to the power of the Snapdragon 855. So far, all we've seen from the new Google Assistant comes from this very brief demo at Google I.O. 2019. Although this is a very early version of the new Assistant, it's hard not to be impressed. Hey Google, open calendar, open calculator, open photos, set a timer for 10 minutes. What's the weather today? What about tomorrow? Show me John Legend on Twitter. Get a lift ride to my hotel. That's it for now. If you're looking forward to the Pixel 4 series, hit the comments, let us know why. For a dissenting opinion, be sure to take a look at our other video of five reasons why the Pixel 4 might actually be one of the year's disappointments. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.